In exciting news for Batman fans, Warner Bros. has officially confirmed that the Batman 2, the second installment in Matt Reeves, the Batman trilogy is happening. The first film starring Robert Pattinson as Bruce Wayne was a big success, leading to the anticipation for more adventures in his new take on The Dark Knight. Before we dive into the details, subscribe to Cineflix News and don't forget to hit the bell icon. This way you will stay updated and receive notifications for all our upcoming videos. She was found cuffed and lashed to the bed. Death. Matt Reeves, the director of The Batman, had long expressed his desire to create a trilogy of movies centered around the iconic superhero. His vision extends beyond the big screen with plans for HBO series including one focused on the character of the Penguin. The interesting twist here is that these projects will exist outside the traditional DC universe. This means they won't be connected to the ongoing stories of other DC superheroes creating a unique and standalone narrative. This approach is part of DC Studios' strategy to explore different storytelling avenues with the broader DC universe. While there is a focus on creating a cohesive, shared universe of most DC films, projects like Matt Reeves' The Batman Trilogy are considered Elseworlds movies. In these cases, the narrative takes place outside the main DCU continuity, allowing for creative freedom and distinct storytelling. The decision to keep The Batman and its sequel separate from the DCU is a deliberate one. Instead of trying to fit these films into the existing shared universe, DC Studios aims to maintain the integrity of Reeves' vision and keep these storylines disconnected. This choice prevents potential alterations to the franchise's trajectory, ensuring that the Batman trilogy can unfold independently. We're beaten and tortured. The Batman 2, in this Elseworlds approach, is not the only project in the works. Warner Bros. is also developing Joker Folia Do, another DC Elseworlds project. These films provide an opportunity for filmmakers like Reeves to explore unique interpretations of characters without being bound by the constraints of the main DCU. However, there is a high standard set for such projects, as revealed by DC Studios co-CEO James Gunn, who emphasized that any DC film outside the DCU must meet a remarkable remarkably high bar. With the Batman being well received by audiences and critics alike, there is confidence that the upcoming sequels starting with the Batman 2 will maintain a similar level of quality. Warner Bros. announcement of the release date indicates their trust in Reeves' vision and his ability to deliver compelling stories within this new Batman universe. The Batman 2 has a set release date of 3rd October 2025, so audiences eager to see Robert Pattinson reprise his role as Batman will need to wait until 2025. The release date confirmation offers a glimpse into the future plans for DC Studios. Importantly, it also impacts the timeline for another DCU project, The Brave and the Bold, which introduces yet another iteration of Batman. To avoid saturation and competition, Warner Bros. plans to ensure a significant gap between the releases of The Batman 2 and The Brave and the Bold, with the later potentially hitting theaters no earlier than May 2026. For more updates, subscribe to Netflix News and press the bell icon.